personality assessments have been built on psychology. So raise your hand if you've done an assessment like Myers-Briggs, Strengths Finder, DISC, Colby. Yeah, these, these assessments are great because they show you how you see the world. But today in a competitive and distracted environment, it doesn't really matter as much how you see the world. What really matters is how the world sees you. But there's never been a way to measure how the world sees you because nobody ever created a personality assessment that was built on marketing instead of psychology. So I drew upon all of this experience with brands like Target, Nike, Coca-Cola, Aflac, and I applied it to the personality realm. And five years ago, I created the Fascination Advantage to measure when you communicate, what cues and signals are you intentionally or unintentionally giving off that cause people to have a certain type of response to you so that you either make a great first impression or a less great run. You either have an advantage or a disadvantage. So think of it like a traditional assessment, but turned around through the lens of marketing to see how the world sees you at your best. Now, when you do the assessment, you go through, it's 28 questions, it's less than three minutes used to be 150 questions, and then we realized the same 28 questions told us everything we needed to know. And so when you, when you take the assessment, you get back a report. And the report describes what other people think of you when you raise your hand to speak in a meeting. Or what are your hidden advantages that you could grow your business around so that you can be more authentic, struggling less. So that you can focus on the areas in which you have a natural wellspring of energy, an area in which you feel energized and focused and in the flow instead of trying to make it up from scratch every day.